Wildcats. I'm here with your Friday sneak peek of Black Panther, the young prince. So we have Black Panther from Marvel. I love Black Panther. I love Marvel. Um, but in this novel, he is a young man rather than the adult we see him at in you know, the later Marvel comics. Anyway, um, it's not available as an ebook, unfortunately, yet. Um, but I'm here on Ronald L. Smith, the author's Twitter page, to give you something to look at. And I will read you the first chapter. And if you like it, you can reserve it when um, Sylvester is back open or maybe when KCLS is open, they will have a physical copy for you to check out. Anyway, I'm going to disappear and read chapter one now. Chapter One. The young prince fled through the forest, his pursuer hot on his heels. His heartbeat thundered in his ears. He couldn't give up, not this time. He ducked a low-hanging branch and splashed through a muddy creek. His attacker was gaining on him. He could almost hear his breath on his back. There, up ahead, a fallen tree. He jumped and his legs were pulled out from under him. He crashed to the ground. Strong hands grabbed his ankles. He tried to break free, but his foe rolled him over and pinned him to the damp forest floor. I got you this time, Mbaka hissed. Nowhere to run now. The young prince gasped for air. Okay, okay, he said. You won this time. Want to go again? Mbaka rose and extended a hand, pulling his friend up with a firm grip. If it hadn't been for that log, the prince started, brushing dirt from his linen trousers. Mbaka smirked. Excuses, excuses. I beat you fair and square, T'Challa. T'Challa looked up and cocked his head. Don't you know it's not smart to mock your superiors? Mbaka bowed low in fake sincerity. Oh, mighty prince, please forgive me for the error of my ways. I am but a lowly servant. T'Challa rolled his eyes. Umbaka was T'Challa's closest friend. They did everything together, sneaking out when they were supposed to be studying, playing practical jokes on unsuspecting victims, and sometimes venturing as far as the neighboring city, even though T'Challa was supposed to have a personal guard with him at all times, like now, for instance. One thing he would never forget was the look on his father's face when he came home late once after being gone for hours. The whole tribe was looking for you, his father had said. There are dangers in the forest, T'Challa. You must always be wary. It was a lesson he took to heart, but every now and then Mbaka egged him on, daring him to break every rule the king laid out for him. The forest around them was vast, teeming with lush vegetation and towering trees that seemed to brush the very heavens. In the distance, a mountain range rose high above the clouds, the midday sun glinting off its white peaks. Come on, Mbaka said. I'll race you to the river's edge. T'Challa wiped sweat from his forehead with the back of his hand. He was tired, but he couldn't let Mbaka know that. He crouched low, ready to sprint. Go, Mbaka shouted. Both boys dashed through the forest, trampling broken branches and leaping over fallen tree stumps. This was when T'Challa felt most alive, in the woods with his best friend, finding adventure and escaping his royal duties. Out here, he wasn't a prince. He was just a kid. Umbaka passed him, kicking up dirt in his path. T'Challa pushed himself as hard as he could. He was gaining on him, but Umbaka had suddenly stopped on the path. T'Challa swerved at the last minute, missing him by inches. He bent and rested his hands on his knees, winded. Why did you stop? Umbaka slowly raised his hand and pointed. Look. A few feet ahead of them, a man lay slumped against a tree. He wore a military uniform, but it was one T'Challa had never seen before. Is he dead? Mbaka whispered. T'Challa didn't answer, but took a few steps forward. The man had a bandage around his leg where his pants had been ripped. Blood soaked it red. Help, he croaked out. Please help me. T'Challa took another wary step. He didn't know who the man was, but his father had always said it was his duty to help those in trouble. A rustling in the bushes made them both pause. Mbaka started. What was that? T'Challa didn't have time to answer as four figures stepped through the trees. And that is all we have time for today. Thanks uh, for popping into the sneak peek and have a great weekend. See you soon, Wildcats.